Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's uh, August 2nd of 2019, about noon. Just received this in the mail. Actually, I did not order it from uh, Amazon, but this is the item. I ordered it from New Egg, and uh, I think I paid about $80 for it. It is a 4 terabyte external USB drive. I had, uh, quite a while back, I had a 1 terabyte USB external drive. I think, though, that it used a, uh, I'm not sure if it was 3.0, I can't remember now. It's here someplace, but it stopped, stopped working. It didn't last very long. But I was switching it back and forth to computers all the time, you know, a computer with Linux and a computer with different, switching it, switching it, and uh, it just stopped working. I never really did very much with it. I, I, uh, uh, so I want to come up with a, uh, a plan. If you happen to know, if you happen to know, I'll, I'll be doing a, well, I've already done a search, but I'm going to be doing a search. Is, you know, the best way to utilize it uh, the organization of it. You know, whatever. Whoops, the cable's on the floor here. Let's see if I can get to it. Uh, uh, okay. Ah. Uh. USB cable, man, this thing looks, <laughs> well, I haven't got it out of the plastic yet, but it just feels, does not feel like this is high quality. I'm talking about this uh, USB 3.0 cable. I probably have, yeah, I, th I do have something that I could probably find. I'll, I'll go with this first. But uh, I recognize this connector that goes into the back of the, uh, whatever they call that. So, uh, not very big, and it's uh, really designed, uh, the only connector on it is where the, uh, this USB, let's see how this shows up for you here. Goes into it, and that's it. It's made, you know, somebody's gaming or uh, something, you can take this with you or whatever, so. And that snapped in there good. And I'm going to set it on top of so let's see here. I'm going to set it on top of my computer. Uh, whoops. That's, okay, I haven't got this plugged in yet, so that's not it. Okay, so oh, that's what I'm. That's what I'm wearing there. I'm just going to put it right there and make sure I plug it into the blue. Let's see. I have, okay, there we go. So that's blue and that, that goes that way. Okay. Okay, let's see. Ah. <sighs> OK. 
Okay. Okay, um, my computer here has been wanting to okay, plug it right da, 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 da. That's it. So I'm going to have to uh, let's see. Windows has been wanting to have something to back up to. So, where in the settings is that going to be? Let's go to settings. Okay, blink your... Background, uninstall, default, your accounts, sync, uh, gaming, privacy, Windows update, recovery, backup. I'm going to guess that this might be. You're up to date. Oh, I know what I want to do. Uh, I want to go down here. And go to the slow lane or the slow lane because I had just last night I wanted to go to bed, but the uh, computer wanted to back up to build 18 9 50. So, uh, too many updates. 2K. Let us uh, go back to. Let's see, update security. Let's see. Windows update. No, this is not going to be. <sighs> I think we were just here. Let's see. Update options, uh, update notifications. Okay, that's not it. Windows security. Let's see, virus and threat protection. Account protection. By the way, I'm running Windows 10. You probably know that. Firewall and network production protection. Device security. Device performance. Family options. Okay, a backup. Okay. Backup using file history. Backup using file history. Backup your files to another device and restore them if the originals are lost, to damaged, or depleted. Automatically backup my files is on. So let's look for more options. Aha. Okay. Overview. Size of backup. 57.8 gigabytes. Total space. On USB 64i. Is. Okay. Well that's the. Uh, Total space is 363 terabytes. Okay. So it knows that the uh, total space on the US 64i is, so that's where I want to, let's see, last backup was February of 2019, but it wasn't on this drive, of course, it must have been on to a... Uh, USB, uh, something like one of these, you know, drives. I think this is a 32 
I can't read it, not enough light. Back up my files, let's see. Daily? Uh, that's, you know, that's a choice. I mean, you know, every 10 minutes or so. Up to daily. Keep my backups forever. Okay. Okay, back up these folders. Add a folder. Oh, okay. Saved games. Links. See, is this picked or whatever? Let's see. Okay, no, okay, that's so that's. Uh, whoops, cancel. Nope, okay, stop. Links, downloads. Come on, I don't want to remove. Downloads, favorites, contacts, OneDrive, desktop, 3D objects, you know, searches, Evernote, Creative Cloud. I have no idea what Ansel is. I have no idea what Android Studio Projects. Oh, I do. That's my uh, Android uh app that's on there. I wonder if there's any files in there. Let's see. I think at some point I need to come back and probably don't need to back up all this. Okay, folders to exclude. Restore files from a current backup. I don't think so. Okay. Troubleshoot. If you created a backup using the Windows 7 back now, okay. Go to backup and restore. No. Troubleshoot. Recovery. If your PC isn't running well, restarting it might help. Go back to previous versions of Windows 10. Advanced startup. Startup from a device or disk drive such as a USB drive or DVD. Change Windows startup settings or restore from a system image. This will restart your PC. Startup from a device or a drive, disk such as a USB drive or startup. Change Windows startup settings. I'm wondering, would there be any point in using my uh, drive here, my new drive, in order to start up Windows? The activation. Find my device for developers, Windows Insider. I think that's it. I think we're ready. So I guess what I should do is see if I can using the uh, if I can actually move something over onto my uh, here's the file explorer. Here's my uh, Toshiba iDrive. Okay, it has a warranty on it that I could read. It's a PDF file. I guess let me just see what happens here. Okay. This is reading the PDF file from the iDrive. Okay. So let's um,
Now, oh, here's the iDrive down here, okay. So that's it. I mean, uh, let's say I want to copy over something here, create a folder here in iDrive. Go and have a folder. Okay, there's a folder. And I'm going to call it uh, Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not, let's say, let's cancel this folder. Let us, uh, let's cancel it. And I'm going to drag over this, uh, let's see, this is a, on my desktop, YouTube data. So what I'm going to do is just uh, drag this folder over. So I have a four terabyte thing. Probably I'm going to want to divide that up a little bit at some point. I'm going to see if there's not a, do a search or something, see if there's not some type of program that would be, well, I wonder, let me just write, well, let me pull this folder over here. YouTube data. Okay, so it's still on the desktop. I'm going to delete it off the desktop. Delete it, okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so there's my folder with my files so I think we're we're in business so uh, the thing for me now is and I did a search is going to be to I'm going to manage that four terabytes of space. I guess maybe does this does a file manager here is it is it set up to let's see go up here. So click over here, say if nope. Yeah, how do I want to divide this what how do I want to divide this up? I'm thinking I'll divide it up into four different, you know, partitions of uh, one terabyte each. So now I guess that uh, Things like um, what do I have on here? Uh, da, da, da. <coughs> I guess things like ACDC photos and that type of stuff. Instead of saving them to my C drive someplace, I could uh, create a folder here for the uh, and do that. So I guess that's one of the things I'll have to. Uh, well, see, here's Amazon photo. Well, Amazon photos though are <clears throat> paying to save them on on the cloud. Would there be any reason to save some of them onto uh, 
Amazon Photos wants to improve your experience. Cool new status pop-ups. See all your current backups. Enhance, uh, okay, close. Backup completed with errors. Add a backup. What kind of backup? Let's see, add a backup. Okay. Okay, go down here to here. And Let's see. So this is Amazon Photos. Okay. Okay, Amazon Photos backup settings. Uh, folder being backed up. Oh, I see. No, this is to folder being backed up. And this goes to Amazon Photos backup. Folder being backed up. Backup destination. What should be backed up on everything? Now I think just photos and videos, right? Don't back up photos and videos already in my account. Uh. I think I did something wrong. Let's look and see if there's go to iDrive Amazon Photos nothing in there. I think if I put something in here then it goes to the cloud, right? I don't know. Anyway, I have four terabytes of storage hooked up to my computer. I uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm not sure you learned anything, but uh, I don't think I've learned very much. But I'll be looking on YouTube to see what is the best... What do I want to... Back well, it looks like I do have backup now. You know, backup now that is... Uh, going to go to that daily I guess um, but I'll have to see about well I'll just have to do a search on YouTube I already did but uh, oh you want to see my fish tank let's see what kind of a view we can get here with that before before we go, I'm going to take off the headset. Okay. Ah. Going to be kind of jerky right here. This is a USB, this USB uh, Lafayette, Lafayette.
Ogitech, the Brio, which is about what that's about hundred and I think about a two hundred dollars. You really don't need, you know, this four K. Of course, you're not getting it in four K. The shrimp pie is not very good, you know. This is, I'm also holding it by hand. I have a tripod here, let's see. Should put it on the tripod back on that filter in the back. You can see that red uh, shrimp. Well, you can see a couple of them on there, but here comes one swimming by. Mount this back on here. Maybe I'll see if this tripod will. Uh, see if I can move it without yanking the cord out. Well, wait a minute. I don't. I have to put this leg down and everything. I don't. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to mess with that right now. I have. There's my six and a half gallon tank way over there. The tank you just look at is a 20 gallon high. Thanks very much for watching.